Hi girls. I have a problem solving solution here. I haven't tried it, but today's my first day I'm going to try it. I've used stretchy nylon caps before, usually in the winter, as a buffer between my bio hair or my scalp and the wigs to make lace fronts more comfortable in all wigs. And then I've also used a wig grip, which is a velveteen, and it has adjustable sizing. And both of those I got from Amazon. But on a wig chat, a gal recommended for lace fronts that work for her, she swore by them, is this. I'm putting it back in the package so you can see the box branding. She purchased this silicone tape to put on wig front um, that is lace and lace might be hard and rough on your forehead. And it's intended for medical use, but there's no medicine on the tape. It's just an adhesive, which is what we're trying to do is find something that'll go along that lace wig front um, that'll buffer that scratchiness. And I got the width that is 1.6 inches by 120 inches long, and it's in a roll. I'll unbox this for you, and I'll show you what it looks like in a roll. And it's on a clear backing, and it's adhesive on one side. I've trimmed this width to get ready for this demo, but here with my fingernail, I'm just going to pull back that adhesive to show you. Okay, so when you're trimming the size that you want, you don't have to use the whole width, see? So I'm saving quite a bit there by not going all the way across. So I'll get two or three strips from this one width, which is nice. So the idea is to get to the wig front, okay? Lay that down and move any hair you have from the wig away from that area that you're going to apply the adhesive because you don't want hairs in there if you can help it. It's not that difficult to do, really. And then I have already peeled off a piece and measured from here to here before the wefting starts on each side. Okay, show you close up. Okay, so you have the lace front and then the wefting on either side. So I have the width just of where the lace front is trim. And I'm going to place it right along the front edge. Hopefully that'll buffer that scratchiness to my skin. And you can leave the backing on and do this slowly if you would like. Or you can do like I'm doing, <clears throat> whichever works for you. Doesn't have to be gorgeous, just has to be a buffer. And then lay that down on the end where it meets the weft. I'm just pressing it. And if you make a boo-boo, it's one of those things you can peel off again. The adhesive is just enough to stay on the wig comfortably. All right, I'm just going to shake it out here and for my enjoyment, off camera here. Hi there, guys. <laughs> I'm going to slide this on and just by putting this on my forehead, you know how I dive into these wigs, that's what I'm doing. Now lift up the camera so you can see me. All right. Just by doing this, I'm not kidding you, no wonder she ran it in rain. It feels like butter against your skin compared to that scratchy, they call it lace front. I wish it was as soft as lace, it just isn't. Um, and I mean, I can run this up and down and it is smooth as all get out. 
I can't see myself well enough without my glasses to tell you if this wig looks any good whatsoever. But regardless, I just want you to know about this product. I don't even have to wear it the whole day to tell you. There's no question in my mind. This is a must-have. <laughs> I hope you guys understand that. I don't care. I think this was like $20, which sounds like a lot for tape. But when you feel this and you know you can get three widths out of maybe six inches, that's three wears. And then you can leave this tape on your wig if you'd like, or you can put it on the backing again, reuse it. But you got to get this, guys. You've got to get this. All right. Just wanted to leave you in the loop. You know I love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.